Tonight we are getting confirmation that after several months, the team running the latest audit of our 2020 election are officially done with the count. County leaders are expected to pick up all 2.1 million ballots Thursday. Political editor Dennis Welch is live in the newsroom and this isn't over, Dennis. Now in Randy Pullen, one of the uh, state Senate's liaison to this audit told me that the counting is done. And he also told me that he expects the county to pick up those ballots again on Thursday. Now when I asked uh, County Recorder Stephen Richard, he confirmed the actual pickup. But as you mentioned, there's a lot of drama remaining around this audit, so it is a long way from being over. The chaos surrounding the audit continues, with Twitter today suspending its official account along with another one associated with the election review. No official reason was immediately given, but the move comes after reports that Senate President Karen Fan's hand-picked liaison was blocked from entering her own audit, which is raising questions about whether or not Fan has lost control of the election review she ordered and is funded, at least in part, with taxpayer money. I, 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 don't, I don't see... Uh, them paying attention to her. Um, I see uh, additional demands that she's placing that seem to be duplicative uh, and confusing. I, I don't understand what the plan is and how her latest actions will bring us to some kind of conclusion that we would have faith in. That was Democratic State Senator Kirsten Engel, a critic of the audit from the beginning, referring to the new subpoenas fan in the Senate issued this week to the county, as well as the actual maker of the voting machines. In response to the latest audit drama, fan issued a statement that reads, in part, the auditors are doing the job they were hired to do, albeit more difficult than originally planned due to Maricopa County withholding vital documents and information, which appears to be purposely withholding the truth from the voters. And Maricopa County does plan on holding an, a meeting tomorrow in executive session to decide how to respond to the Senate subpoenas. In the newsroom, Dennis Wells, Arizona's family.